Hey, what is going on everyone? My name is Sildris and today we are back again for another video of Project Star. In my latest video yesterday, I posted a video of the tier listing and I saw some of the comments you guys had left in the video and I'm going to be checking more into Horus's skill set and his freezes. They have just released a patch, a patch update and they have buffed and debuffed a lot of things here in the game. Uh, as of the 18th of September in 2021. So be sure to check that out there on the Discord. It will be down below in the description unless, <clears throat> as well as in the game description on Roblox. And I also um, will be leaving their Trello down below for you guys as well if you want to check out some of their stuff as well in case you're looking into it but as for today's video we are definitely going to be looking into how you want to level up in the fastest way possible and stuff like that so when you first load into the game the first person you'll be talking to is the speed wagon export or uh, escort and he will take you to a dungeon type quest and you will beat that and he will give you your first arrow to get your first stand now once you have completed all of the quests for speed wagon you will come over and talk to Dishwasher Teddy, and he will have you go out and fight some scorpions out way out on that side of the map that you can go do for some good EXP when you are starting off. And then while you are doing that quest, you also want to talk to Camp Chef Russell, and you can um, grab his quest to get some cactus juice, and you can get that actually on the way to doing the scorpion quest. So you're maximizing your exp game <clears throat> so once you have those two completed you'll probably be about <clears throat> excuse me you'll probably be about level six or seven somewhere around that range and then you'll want to come all the way back here you can probably just reset once you have all this quest done you'll spawn here on the helipad and you can claim your exp once you have finished those quests and then you're going to come over and talk to captain jones and he is going to give you a quest to get the plans i believe for the bandits from the bandits uh camp that is out towards this side of the map over here and once you have those he will give you a quest to complete a dungeon now <clears throat> these these first two dungeons that you're doing are for you to do alone sadly you cannot bring a friend in there they're meant to be solo soloed and um that stuff like that uh, I, I don't I can't remember the location on the off the top of my head of this first dungeon. Well, actually I do. You can just talk to him. Okay, maybe not. Um, but you can you you will be getting about three I think it's three quests from Captain Jones before he sends you to the next area. And um, just just be aware of this too. That certain quests have certain um, icons here, and they are, they will be different colors as well. So that way you'll know which marker is which and stuff like that. So after you're done talking to Captain Jones, he is going to tell you to go talk to Captain, or I think it's Captain Sig. I think that's his name. I don't remember his rank though, but <clears throat> he's going to go talk. He's going to go tell you to talk to Captain Sig, which is a little bit on the other side of town. I wish his motorcycle was better. Jesus. Um, he will tell you to go talk to Captain Sig if I could even drive straight. So what you want to do is you just kind of want to go straight down this road. And then there'll be a turn at the very end of it. And then you just kind of make your way. Make your way through here. And then there's this long stretch here and you go all the way down. And Captain Sig is this one right here with the weird glasses. All right, once you talk to him, he is going to give you a couple of quests as well. And I believe his first one is gonna be telling you to do the um, dungeon that is just right over here. And this is where you really, really start getting levels here in the game. And I'll be explaining further more of what you should do at this particular dungeon. Um, <clears throat> so basically, uh, before this dungeon used to be not solo until uh, you used to be able to bring friends into this one until it got patched, but now it is permanently um, 
permanently solo and I am completely lost at the moment. <laughs> this map is confusing as I'll get out. But once you get to this particular dungeon, it'll tell you to... Jesus, that motorcycle is absolutely killing me. Where is this dungeon, man? Oh, right. It's right through here. I know where it is now. Okay, let's go ahead and get over there real quick. I don't think it's down this road. It might be. It's not. Here it is. Okay, so this dungeon right here is the particular one that you want to do the most of. All right, so once you get to this, um, once you get to this quest, if you are able to, um, go ahead and talk, talk, you don't, I don't think you have to talk to Joe. You can just go right in and, um, the difficulty does amount to how much EXP you do end up getting. So keep that in mind while you are doing this. Of course, you can do the first one on easy just to get it over with, but this is where your grind actually starts. As far as getting your levels, we're just going to go ahead and hop into a nightmare real quick. And um, I'll, I'll give you a brief idea of how much EXP you will actually be getting from this. So I think on think that you get you get about five to six hundred EXP per mob in here. And we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go through this. Wow, that hitbox is very very large. All right. Looks like they decreased the burn damage a good bit. Wow, you can really notice the difference in that burn damage. Okay, so we just went up a small level. It looks like we gained about, looks like about 800 EXP. All right, so you're, you're getting, you're getting, you're getting a pretty, pretty big, decent amount off of how much you're, um, how much you're at, how much you're getting from each individual. And keep in mind that there's only six of these, so you might not necessarily get a full level up if you're pretty high already, but I do recommend this dungeon over the other ones because the other ones are very, very particular in how they are set up <clears throat> and they can't be quite complicated to do. If you're not at a level that's suitable for doing that specific one. Okay. Maybe I overestimated how much EXP you get from this. But it's still it's still a really good grind. You figure that you're, you're almost getting a level per run on this. And um, uh, especially when you're a lower level, you probably want to do this until you're about level 30, I would say. And um, uh, you can use the rest of... You can use the rest of the story to actually uh, get higher up. But until you're about level 30, that's when I would call it quits on this particular dungeon. Because the uh, the XP on this dungeon is just way, way too good to be missing out on it. Okay, let's see if we can get these guys to... Wow. Okay. I thought they fixed a stun on this game. It must have fixed it in PvP, because NPCs are still kind of just bopping you through your own attacks. Wow, this burn damage is actually like really bad now. I'm actually I'm pretty disappointed with that. Yeah, these guys would normally already be dead. Okay, from what it looks like, we've gotten about 14, 14 ish, 14 ish hundred uh, XP out of this. And we still have the boss to do, which I'm, he's probably about to piece me up on my luck. Wow, that burn damage is like really bad now. It doesn't last as long either.
I agree with the I, I definitely agree with the cooldown that they did for Crossfire uh Hurricane Special, but I don't know how I feel about them reducing all of his burn damage. He went from like the meta in this game to not so great. Alright, let's see if we can get this dude before he kills us. Alright, there we go. So it looks like we got about we got pretty close to 2,000 EXP out of that one Nightmare run, which <clears throat> on average, until you're about level 30-ish, is about one level per run. And if you're super low level and you're still beating this, then you're getting a lot more than that. So I would definitely, uh, I would definitely keep doing that as far as that goes. Um, it is definitely a very 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 helpful dungeon when you're first starting off as far as your level goes and uh, while you're doing this dungeon you can also um, get the whole process to move through that and all that good stuff and um, let's go ahead and get right right back to like the story stretch um, once you are done with captain sig's uh, stretch of quest you will meet a specific team i don't know the name off the top of my head that you will meet at this tent and then you'll be talking to captain nico for the next stretch of your quests and stuff like that and he will give you um more of the brando ceo quest stretch of the quest lines and stuff like that and um you really you really want to do you really want to do every quest in the game as unless it has like a white arrow white arrow quests don't really give you a lot but you still need to do them when you're a low level because they do give you a lot um uh, places like dishwasher teddy um he will give you quests he will give you a quest as well it's a daily i believe even though i'm not really sure why the dailies haven't reset for me yet and then um <clears throat> uh this this uh i believe he, he i don't i guess he's like a patrol captain or whatever but you talk to him and then he'll also let you do a quest out, out there as well um <clears throat> leveling up is very very slow when you get to a higher level and it is very particular with how you get started and stuff like that but um i would definitely recommend getting something like bird magician he did just now receive a kind of debuff and he he's still pretty good but he's not as good now since they like halved his burn damage on some of his stuff but i hope you guys found this video pretty helpful i'm not going to keep dragging it out all all i can really give you guys is that you guys need to do every single quest that you can find in the in the city as long as you're at high enough level to do it and just keep that grind on especially in that dungeon when you're starting off it'll give you insane levels all right so i hope you guys found this video helpful and i will be releasing probably another one here on this game either today or tomorrow so yeah uh just just keep just keep the just keep the whole process in mind that everything with a question mark is needs to be done if you really want to maximize your level gain so i won't i won't drag out this ending so i'll see you in the next one peace